Hi everybody and welcome back to Digital VLSI Design. Today we'll do Lecture 9, Routing. So what's the problem with routing? The scale is huge. So here we can see that we have thousands of macro blocks, we probably have millions of gates inside, millions of wires, and what happens is when we start connecting them we get literally kilometers of wires even though this chip may be only a few millimeters on a few millimeters and we must connect all of these millions of wires the geometric complexity of this problem is huge for a basic starting point we'll see that we'll take a grid representation we'll decide that um, our chip is divided into these very fine nice grids but um, at nanoscale, the geometry rules are very complex. We have to take these all into account, and we have to route according to these rules. There are different routing layers as well, and the different routing layers have different costs, so we may want to route uh, at a certain layer with certain rules, at another layer with other rules. We may have um, some sort of advantage to route in one layer than another. The electrical complexity is also hard. It's not just enough to connect the wires. We also have to ensure that the delays through the wires are small to ensure that the crosstalk between the wires, the wire to wire interactions don't mess up the behavior. Um, we have to make this a, a good solution, not just a sufficient solution. So let's define our problem. The problem is that given a placement and a fixed number of metal layers, we want to find a valid pattern of horizontal and vertical wires that connect the terminals of the nets. The input to our problem is the cell locations, which came out of placement and uh, some clock tree synthesis. And we have a net list of all the cells and how they connect to each other. We don't have the nets themselves. Okay, what we have to do is we have to give a geometric layout of each net that connects the various standard cells together, uh, actually each pin of each standard cell to each other. Um, we do this as most of our algorithms do in a two-step process. We start with something we call global routing, then we'll go into detail routing. We'll get to that later, but they use the same type of principles to, to work. And our objective is, first of all, what we have to have. We have to have 100% connectivity of a system. Um, we need to get to a point where our system, every single net in our net list is connected to its relevant pins. And um, we want to do this with minimum area and minimum wire length. The constraints... Well, we have a certain fixed number of routing layers, and they have different um, types of uh, design rules. Um, all the design rules, different widths, spacing, and so forth. We want to meet our timing constraints. We have our SDC, and we want to uh, meet our timing, uh, our, set, our max delay and our uh, min delay. Um, we don't want to have crosstalk problems after finishing the routing, and we want to deal with process variations as well. That's uh, pretty tough.